Well, let's take you to central western Queensland now to Winton. Matt Wordsworth is there for this special edition of ABC News. And Matt, there's tremendous excitement in the town tonight. Yeah, that's right, Jess. Tonight we're inside the new Waltzing Matilda Centre in Winton, which has drawn thousands of people for its grand reopening. One of the town's claims to fame is that Banjo Patterson penned the words to Australia's unofficial national song while he was holidaying on a nearby station. So I guess that makes him the town's most famous tourist. But it's hoped his legacy and this centre will help spark a visitor stampede. After welcome rain and the arrival of thousands of tourists, Winton is looking good and taking pride of place on the main street, the new Waltzing Matilda Centre. Three years ago, the town's tribute to Banjo Patterson and that song went up in flames. Residents woke to find their key tourist attraction a smoking ruin. It's just knocked us around. We've taken some recovering ever since. Now $22 million and 20 years after it first opened, a very different centre has risen from the ashes. They asked us to actually create the opera house of the outback, but we wanted it to be meaningful um, and memorable um, and a real experience um, of actually what it is to be in this very distinct landscape. It's so iconic, it can't be any less, uh, hence the design of the building. But you can't please everyone. Ones call it the, the um, ant nest, um, I call it the mud hut. I think it's magnificent. I think what they've done to, to the place looks brilliant and it's well worth a trip up to see them open it. Through years of drought, tourism has kept Winton alive. The town has been careful to position itself as an upmarket outback destination by offering a trip back in time at Dinosaur Canyon and capitalising on its locations during the Winton Film Festival. It's been a real struggle. Um, some of the people from the properties have actually had to come into town and get jobs in the businesses and with the tourism industry. They've been really proactive about attracting a totally different market, which we will all benefit from down the track. To mark the reopening of the Waltzing Matilda Centre, people from across Australia have come to the town of Winton to be part of the biggest music festival in Western Queensland. The Way Out West Festival has brought artists from country, pop, rock and blues, with Jessica Malboy headlining the events. But it's the unofficial Australian anthem that'll keep visitors coming back. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Glory to Australia. Thank you. Anita Bolle, ABC News, Winton.